This is a short review of using the hierarchical editor for taxonomy in Arctos. Arctos taxonomy is um, managed with each name separately, and there can be multiple sources for each name that can be used in identifications. So the system of taxonomy in, within Arctos is not hierarchical. However, we do have a tool that will allow um, anyone who wants to manage a subset of taxonomy in a hierarchy to do so. And that is found under um, Enter Data, Batch Tools, Taxonomy, and Manage Classifications Hierarchically. And that leads you to this page that you see here. This tool will allow a user to manage a hierarchy of taxonomy, um, but it has some limitations and is not good if you're trying to manage all of life in a hierarchy. It's just too cumbersome for that. But for some small subset, it's great. And using this tool to create a hierarchy and then export it into a format that Arctos can use um, allows some uh, a little bit more precise management of a given set of taxa. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use this flea taxonomy that we have here at the bottom, which I imported uh, prior to this tutorial. And um, I did that with this import upload tool. And this is a great way to get a hierarchy started. All you need is a CSV with the columns that are listed here. And um, you can create, you can start your hierarchy that you can then work with. Um, but I'm not going to go through a bulk load at this point. I'm just going to show you how things work once they're in there. And so I will use this manage tool. <clears throat> and what this does is load um, all the names that are in the hierarchy right now. And these all came from the bulk load that I did. And you can see there's the top of the hierarchy kind of is right here. Um, but we have a bunch of names that are that have fallen out of the hierarchy for various reasons. Um, most of these are because there's some kind of misspelling or the parent taxon is missing. And um, so they kind of just fall out on their own and need to be put into the right spot. So one thing I will do is um, by double clicking any of these, you can open up the hierarchy. So this shows you um, how you can get through to um, a lower classification, a lower level in the classification and um, try to figure out where these things belong. Um, once you know where something belongs in the hierarchy, you can just drag and drop it wherever you want it. Um, and that'll put it in its right spot. You can also um, remove things from here. So clicking any one of these little check boxes will show you the details for that sp specific name. So in this case, um, this name is ranked as a species. Um, it has an associated author text, nomenclatural code, and source authority. Um, you can also add to it um, several other non-classification kind of terms. Um, some of these are related to minerals and some to uh, cultural items. So some of these may not be applicable if you're managing biological taxonomy, um, but Arctos allows for managing these other taxonomies as well. So we, we get other things in there. Um, one thing that's really useful is if you have terms that are in worms, the World Register of Marine Species, 
you can add the Appia ID um, and that helps connect this term to the uh, worms taxonomy. So you can edit those things here and save them if needed. If you realize that this was bulk loaded incorrectly, that it's supposed to be maybe um, some other rank, you can change that here and save it as well. And you can also delete the term. So if you determine, oh, I loaded this, the name's incorrect, I'm just going to delete it. Um, and you can also assign it to a new parent from here instead of using the drag and drop or create new children for it. So if this um, species were um, separated out into several new subspecies, you could add those um, using this create new child term button at the bottom. So that allows you to um, individually edit and maintain these terms as well. So this is how the system works now. We've definitely discussed some add-ons that would make it work better. Um, for one thing, being able to open up a whole hierarchy without a whole bunch of double clicking would be nice. Uh, being able to search for a specific term. So in this case, because I don't, I'm not an expert and I don't know what family this subspecies belongs under, um, without opening up everything and looking for this genus, um, I'm not going to know where to move this to. So being able to search for that genus term in the hierarchy is one of the things that um, would make this a lot easier. But um, anyway, this tool does allow you to manage a hierarchy of terms. And once you have the hierarchy um, in the order you want it and all corrected and good to go, you can export it. And currently, um, it can only be exported to an Arctos classification system, but one of the upgrades we've talked about for this would be to export it to CSV or potentially to the appropriate formats for Symbiota, Specify, and Emu so that um, anybody could export from this tool and use it in their own um, collection management system. And that concludes my brief review of the hierarchical manager in Arctos. Thank you.